everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today's video I want to show you how to put together this little tool chest. This would make a great gift for Father's Day or um, a man's birthday, just about anything and it's so fun and it's just the perfect size for a little bit of a treat or, or something small. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the pieces that you will need. This is your handle. And this is the latch. Then you have a little tag that has the um, pliers on it and the hammer. You put that together in a second. And then here is the toolbox. And I've already glued on all of the little embellishment pieces. And then the other thing that you will need is three brads and some twine if you want to tie your tag onto the handle of the box. So to get started, all we're going to do is I'm going to take my, um, my tool chest and after I've glued on all my embellishment pieces, I'm going to fold everything away from me. So there's quite a few score marks on here. And I'm just going to score everything away from me. So that's pretty simple. And again, as with all of my files, it comes with either, um, well, the SVG comes with the perforation lines, or if you have a Cricut with design space, you can do it with either the perforation marks or the score marks. Keep in mind, if you're using the score marks, when you go into design space, it's going to look like cut lines, and you'll actually need to change those two score lines and then you'll need to attach them to the box. Ooh, that little corner popped up just a little bit. Might have to re-glue that one piece. And I have a video on how to do that with your design space. It's not difficult. Um, and if you've done very many of these, you'll know exactly how to do it. It goes pretty quick. But so once we get all of these pieces folded down the way that we want to, um, we want to put glue on these tabs right here. So on the on the edges and yeah, on the edges, there's these little tabs, and those actually go inside the box. And I'll show that to you in just a second. But for now, let's put glue on these tabs right here. And I'm going to actually use my um, my tape runner. The bot the excuse me the glue works better for these and that is what I would normally do but because we're doing the video we're gonna go ahead and maybe I should have done the glue because a couple of those are not wanting to work really well Okay, and now while I've still got this and before I've glued it all together, I'm going to actually flip it over and I'm going to put tape on these outside edges so that they're ready to go when we get started folding this. This folds together pretty quickly. It's, it's a pretty simple little box. I think we got everything. Okay, now we're just going to start folding it up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to match these corners right here and try and get a really good firm adhesion so that I have some sharp corners. If you can see that all the well. So there's the bottom of your chest. So I'm going to kind of fold this lid so it's out of the way. And then I'm going to fold these tabs inside. And the only reason I added those is it just gives it a little bit of strength when the box is all folded up. If you're putting, you know, some candy or something in there, it just kind of strengthens it up a little bit. So there is the bottom. Now we're going to do the top, which is a little bit tricky, but it's not hard at all. 
So you want this angle tab to go on the angle of the lid. And if I were doing glue, which I would recommend you did, you're going to do one tab at a time. And see, I even, when I was putting tape on there, I forgot that tab. So, yeah, I would do this one tab at a time with the glue. And just kind of hold it there. And then do this one. Everything should just match up. This really is just a quick, simple little box, but so fun. And I have some other different chests in the works. So I've got a beach chest and a garden chest. Um, and they'll all go together the same way. And then I also have a chest with a lid where you take the whole lid off and it's not hinged like this one is. So lots of new things coming for the summer. That last little tab in there, and he's usually the trickiest one, is that last tab. You've got all those, then again, you're going to fold these tabs to the inside again just to give it a little bit of strength. Okay, so there is the box, the little chest. So now I want to add my handle. So there's your handle, it has the two holes, and I'm just gonna curve it a little bit with my finger and thumb, and then get these two brads out. And actually, we're gonna need a total of three of them. And then we're just going to slip this through that hole, and slip it through this hole. Flip it over and open that up. like that. Same thing on this one. Oh, come on. Open that up. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare on the window, so you can't see that. There you go. And there's your handle. I hope I bent it, but there's your your little handle and then the last one is we're going to put this little latch on here so I'm just going to put some glue right here on the top of my latch all right let's do the tape runner and then this goes right here on this lid with this edge right up against the fold mark and right in the middle. So, just like that. You want that hole over that hole. And then we're gonna take this last brad and stick it through and open it up. I wanna turn it so that there we go. And I didn't shove it quite all the way in. I mean, you want it pretty close, but you do want it to have just a little bit, maybe that's too much, a little bit of a gap. And then to close it, you just close that over the, the brad. And there is your little tool chest. Now, to finish it off, I'm going to finish my tag. Let me my glue here. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is just glue the panel to my tag. Match up those holes. And then our little 
pliers and our um, hammer have the, the handles on them. So we're just going to glue those in a separate piece. These are a little bit of small pieces, but they're not too small. And your machine should cut them out just fine. Um, if it feels like it's not cutting it out very well, you can slow the speed down. I know sometimes when I'm doing small, intricate things, sometimes it helps to slow the speed down. But I didn't with these, and they cut out just fine. They work really well. Line that up. Sorry, there really is a glare. <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing everything. Okay, so then we're just going to glue this to our tag. That way, across. Same with the hammer. You could even put some little foam pop dots on there if you wanted to give it even some more dimension. And then I'm just going to take my twine and you could even put like a little sentiment to dad or whatever. And I'm just going to tie it right on there. I don't know if you can see that. These dang fingernails get in the way. My daughter's getting married, so we all went and got manicures a week or so ago. Okay, and then just trim off those little edges. And what a cute little toolbox. Fill it with some of Dad's favorite candies or some cash or a coupon or whatever you want. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure and hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.